Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Fernbus Coach Simulator. Today we are in the Stockman Lions Coach, second generation which comes with this game. And we are sporting a stagecoach livery. Why? Why not? That's that's literally it. Why not? Uh, it's available via the workshop, this livery. It is, uh, it's free to download, so I definitely recommend that you head over to the workshop and check that out if you are a Fernbus Fan. It comes in a couple of different variations and uh, today we are going to be driving on the Czech Republic DLC We're going to be driving the other cities from Prague through to Brno and finally Ostrava uh, The last episode when we drove down to Czeski Brovici uh, that was uh, most successful by Pilsen And uh, we're going to be driving all the way down here today. It's a rainy miserable day and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good run, despite the fact it's rainy and miserable. Right, let's get that door shut. <coughs> Excuse me, get it turned on. Everything on, yeah. Bit of lights. Yeah, are we... Uh, we'll have headlights on because obviously it's raining. I'm liking these window, uh, these textures on the window. They're very nice, these rain textures. Although to be fair, they've always been good with the rain. Uh, the rain textures, haven't they? Do you know what? I'm just going to turn down the uh, turn down the sound on my headphones a little bit. It's just a, a tiny bit loud. Yeah, TML have always been really good with the, uh, the windscreen textures. Of course, this is the new and updated version of Fernbus, which includes the new AI that we've seen in uh, in the bus. Can we pull out in front of you? Go on, that is out. Thanks. Cheers for that, love. All right, round we go. Right, full steam ahead, straight to Prague uh, bus station, or Prague coach station. Now this DLC can be yours for the low price, £7.50, and for that you get a whole new area of map to explore, and uh, five new cities, which uh, are typically uh, typically very Czech. Now, uh, of course, how realistic you think it is, is uh, it's never going to be completely realistic, because it doesn't set out to be. It's uh, it's just a, a little taster of, uh, of the Czech Republic. Yeah, there we go. We'll have a have a little break. This does drive so much better than the Comfort Class. I know that I was uh, I was saying the Comfort Class is my favourite, and uh, and it is to be fair. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, mm, can't get into the coach station. That's going to be an issue. Way round we go. Slam on. Into gear and away we go. Now I don't know how long the journey time is. Uh, it reckons it's about five and a half hours. Of course, that is uh, that is in game time that it's five and a half hours. There we go. We'll have a little poodle over there. Got a bus in the bus station today. It's nice to see that they are still bringing out uh, DLC for this game. I thought they'd given up completely with it, to be honest, this and Taurus bus. I think that we are, uh, I think we're very much on the curb there. Oh no, we're not. That's not a bad stop at all. Get that open. Come on, everybody. Berno and Ostrava. That's where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Welcome aboard. We're going to Berno. Yeah, I can, uh, I can sell you a ticket to go there, my love. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise. I've had this cough for absolutely flipping ages. It's not COVID, so don't panic. Joe's uh, not on his deathbed just yet. Why is everybody the same? They're literally all the same women that are queuing up here. Oh no, you're different. Although you, I've literally checked your ticket about seven times now. Right, we're good to go. Doesn't it look good? It really does suit the uh, the stagecoach livery, actually, doesn't it? The, uh, the man lines coach. Right, everybody, sit down, shut up, and hopefully it'll be a nice journey. Uh, right. Get it in, uh, get it in reverse. Off we go. Let's take it, uh, take it nice and steady. Can we just uh, put that parking brake on? Let's have a little picture. Oh, I don't like it. The green's in. Right, okay. We'll uh, we'll have a little drive. That'll do. Lovely. Right, so going round to the left. Oh, hang on, how do we do this now? 
There we go. Right, everyone's uh, everything's cleared. You can get into everything. Oh, I can't get out of this bus station, can I? We had problems with this last time, where I went over the sodding uh, over the curb. Got told off by my other half. Oh, you'd have failed your test for that, you know. Like, I know, but I couldn't get round the corner. There we go. We, we can this time. Look at that. That's up the curb. Damn it. Never mind. Never mind. Right, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll... Oh, oh, no. I was going to just cut out in front of him. But... Oh, that was far too wide. Oh, dear me. Back into the lane. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing wrong with that. Right, full steam ahead. Next stop is Brno. I have actually been to uh, Prague and Brno. I've not been to Ostrava, but uh, there's some fantastic Brno trams uh, down in Brno. Where else would there be Brno trams? I don't know. But uh, yeah, fantastic tram system down there. Really, really uh, want to go back. <coughs> Dear me. Yeah, really do want to go back to photograph the Burno trams. Uh, plenty of Tatra trams, if you like your trams. Shall we, uh, shall we knock the windscreen wipers down just one notch? Just to a uh, little bit more... Uh, you see, actually, I don't know. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. No, that's not often enough, is it? We'll have to add them on a bit more. Lovely. Have a bit of, have a bit of cruise control on. Are we going out a different way? Did we come up this way last time? I don't remember. I don't remember. Where are we on the map? Uh, no, I think last time we went this way, didn't we? We turned. Did we go up here and down there? I don't know. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a really nice run. Uh, this weather perks up a little bit, don't you? Don't get me wrong, I like the dynamic weather. Come on. I do like the dynamic weather. It just adds uh, an extra bit of, uh, you know, you're not quite sure what you're getting. And that's nice. I do like that. Right, I think that's for left-hand turn only in that lane, isn't it? Righty <clears> out. <throat> if we were feeling... Uh, particularly uh, naughty, we could have gone flying through there, couldn't we? I reckon our lights are going to turn green. Yeah, you see, why couldn't our lights have been on green while they were all turning left? They could have been, couldn't they? <coughs> oh, let's just... Uh, we're going a little bit quick, but we're just keeping up with the chap in front, aren't we, really? Oh, grass in the middle of the road. Hello. Right, national speed limit. Away we go. Way! Crikey Moses, did you feel that? Shattered people's pelvis is doing that. Right, there we go. We'll have a we'll have a screenshot. You know I like a screenshot. Hell, we're doing 100 kilometres an hour. Right, hang on. I'm turning the wheel and nothing's happening. There we go. Right, keep going. This wheel's not really, I'm uh, I'm actually turning my steering wheel quite a bit. AC too cold. Oh, you talk rubbish. Well, we'll pop it up to 21. There we go. And of course, what I didn't realise in the last video, I know that I, I mentioned it, but I, I completely forgot that we didn't have it, but... There's dynamic passenger noises in the back now. Passengers on their phone, passengers uh, chattering away. It's quite a nice feature, isn't it? Because on a coach like this, you will get people that phones are going off every verse end. They have also fixed the driving on this. You used to feel like it was really leaning because of how the camera was set up when you went round corners on the man lines coach. And it doesn't feel like that anymore. It's more like the, uh, the driving dynamic you've got in tourist bus simulator. Excuse me. Which is nice. I mean, I don't imagine that we're going to have a particularly long uh, slip road here. Oh, another man lines coach going the other way. 
No, we don't have a long slip road at all. That is one thing I would like them to sort, but uh, that would involve them redoing most of the map. So I don't imagine we're going to see that sorted ever. Ah, maybe I'd be surprised. You never know. Pleasantly surprised. We're going to fly past this lot here. Because we're in a rush. Stagecoach are uh, powering across. Czech Republic here. Pull back in. <coughs> Brilliant stuff. Oh, somebody coming past. We're just sticking at about 92 kilometres an hour. I think that that is a... Uh, we're pulling out in front of this car. He's going to hit us, or we're going to hit him. Oh, actually. Oh, I'm very pleasantly surprised today. The traffic's behaving itself a lot better than last time. And since the last episode, there's not been an update. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually... I don't know if this... Well, yeah, I think this bus has been updated, but it's so much nicer to drive than the uh, than the comfort class. The, the gear change were just too jerky. You know, you were you're constantly losing your speed whenever you change gear. And I am aware as well that I'm in this outside lane I should have perhaps tucked in. But uh, it's not the end of the world, is it? I think there's some roadworks down here. At some point. What's this down in front? Oh, it's a red one. I forgot, it's not just the uh, the Flixbus liveries that appear on here. It's literally any livery you have, so we might actually see another stagecoach bus going the other way. It's uh, Stagecoach's European Venture, which until now, none of us knew they had. But yeah, they've, uh, they run coaches across the Czech Republic. What do you mean they don't? And I'm making that up. Nah, the evidence is here, right in front of you. Right, roadworks are coming up, so I think we'll be fine. We'll just ease off. Oh, hang on, are we? Oh no, we're not going into one lane. Oh, we can do 100 all of a sudden. Hang on, we could only do 60 back there. I'll have to take this Tesco lorry. Give him a little wave. And of course, one thing is, when uh, when these vehicles are quite far away, you can just see the wheels. Right, we're going to cut across here. Oh, that that might have been uh, <laughs> that might have been a bollard that we've just hit there. Never mind. Yeah, you see the between the van and the lorry, you can just see the wheels when the cars get quite far in front. You just see the chassis there. That's only just started happening, hasn't it? And obviously when you get closer, the uh, you get to see the actual vehicle. But yeah, when you're quite a way away, you just get to see some wheels. What's causing that to happen then? I don't know. No, you don't tend to see a bin lorry on the motorway very often, do you? It's a Mercedes by the looks of things. Just ease off because it's 80 up here. So we'll ease off to a respectable 83. Oh, he's coming in. Hello. Come on then, if you're cutting in front, make sure you're overtaking. This is where he slams on and I go straight into the back of him. Pleasantly surprised he didn't. Come on, we'll get him. We'll get him. A lot of Tesco lorries, there's another one in front here. Bit right, 87, that'll do. Round this corner. Way. Round we go. Ooh, that's a hell of a corner, isn't it? To be taken at this speed, obviously, is a bit unrealistic. You wouldn't do that in real life, would you? National speed, 100 kilometres an hour. What's this going the other way? Man lines uh, coach? Of course it is. 
it's always either the uh, the two axle or the three axle triaxle even dual or triaxle should I say We're making sterling progress it's quite a trek isn't it down to Burner it's, uh, it's a bit of a shame that they didn't put more cities in kind of in between because this really is a long trek isn't it to be a village on the left there. Of course we uh, we can't access that village which is a bit of a shame as I say. Some nice trees on the right. The graphics on this game really really... oh hang on. Thunderstorm. Help power lines will be, uh, will be coming down soon. I mean hell the rain's really coming down isn't it? shot here. Lovely. Oh, hang on, we're not meant to come off here, are we? Another Flix bus on the... Uh, we'll pop across into this lane. Don't know if there's anyone waiting to come past. There shouldn't be, because we're motoring along at 100. Very respectful, uh, respectable. 100 kilometres an hour. Although, to be fair, another... Uh, oh, Tui bus going past. Lovely. Tui holidays. The two we do all of this to the Czech Republic? Well, I thought they would have done. But, uh, maybe they do, who knows? Of course, uh, a group of whatever the, uh, whatever the number is, I can't remember, they're uh, commonly found on the Canary Islands. That'll be from the uh, tourist bus simulator that we got that livery from. Oh, nice. Uh, what is this? It's like a glass. Is it a bridge that we're going over here? like it doesn't it? Coach the other side. Oh no it's not a bridge. It's just a hill with some glass at the side of it. Why? Goodness only knows. Right we're coming out here. If you could... Oh hang on so is he in front. Way. He's uh... Yeah if you're gonna pull out sir if you can put your foot down that'd be lovely. Oh, I'm getting up the taken now. Look at that. These guys are gonna want to cut in aren't they? Chap in the golf. It's undertaken me, and now he wants. Uh... Oh. Phone's ringing. If you could answer that at your earliest convenience. Righty out. Yeah. Uh, are we pulling back in? I think we are, because that guy's going faster than me, isn't he? So uh, it'd be only fair the right thing to do. Keep in the outside lane. Best thing for it. So of course any any cars that are going faster can whiz down the uh, down the outside or down the inside of us, sorry. You watch, I think that this uh, this weather's gonna perk up after Berno. That'll be quite nice over to Estrava. I just have this feeling. I'm going before you can cut me up again, Mr. Uh, Mr. White Van. Quite like the fact that they're different vans. You know, they're both white vans, but there are different types of white van. That's uh, that's nice. It's not all the same van that you see all the time. We've got little minibuses, Ford Transit minibus, two bus on the left there. So must uh, two must operate holidays. Through to the Czech Republic there. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a holiday to Prague, and uh, that's a coach trip, coach excursion that takes you down to Brno. They must do. Another coach here has just been cut up by that red lorry. Sterling progress. 46 kilometres to go. 45. Oh, we're doing really well, aren't we? I'm impressed with how this coach handles, to be perfectly honest with you. I really am. 
it's, uh, it really makes a nice change. I think that the, uh, the stock Lions coach might be my new favourite coach. Because to drive it's just lovely. It really is. I mean, it wasn't always this nice, was it? The Wien or Vienna. And, uh, oh, hang on, what have I done there? I've turned the retarder on. Let's, uh, let's just accelerate to stop that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're all we're all slamming on here to come off the motorway. You should actually continue onto the slip road at the speed of the road. You shouldn't slow down until you are on the slip road. That's what the slip road's for, sir. You can make sure you do that in future. How do you get to Vienna from here, then? Let's have a look on the old map. Oh, of course, you uh, you go right and down there. Lovely. I uh, forget how close we are to Vienna. I said we were going <laughs> to do a completely different route, but after how long it took us to get to Czeski Budovici, uh, which I know somebody told me how to pronounce it, and I'm apparently pronouncing it wrong, uh, but being the good YouTuber that I was, I forgot to check the comments to see how to actually pronounce the damn place before I started recording this video. So my apologies that it's all the wrong pronunciation as well. Phone's ringing. Right, off we go. We're going to need to be in the left hand lane here. Quite a, uh, a common junction, this, isn't it? see this junction, this uh, kind of bow. It's like a ribbon, isn't it? In a bow. On a present kind of junction. Oh, 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 oh. Don't slam on, sir, please. I realise we've just overtaken that car. We should have perhaps let him in. So, uh, mistakes were made. And we'll know for next time, won't we? Right, there we go, we'll uh, come to a nice stop there behind him. Where actually are we now? Over there, right, okay. Got you. And of course the nice thing about Berno is we're coming out of the city a different way to the way we went in. It's always nice, isn't it? I don't really like backtracking so often. I wonder what sort of bus station we've got here. Hmm, I wonder. going just a little bit quick. I'm surprised we've not been told off yet by the uh, by the passengers. You so often do when you're speeding. Not that I'd know, of course, because I never speed. Round we go. We've got a, a train of some sort. Nope. No trains. Disappointing, but never mind. Are about to go uh, if that Tiguan or whatever it is, a, a Typhoon, Typhoon in front. If he'd have gone right, I'd have probably followed him with the right on red thing from Bus Simulator. But of course, we're not playing Bus Simulator 21, are we? We're uh, we're playing. Fernbus coach simulator. You're not allowed to do the right on red thing. No, not allowed on the continent. Come on. Takes him a little moment, doesn't it? Now, I could see a coach up there, so are we, uh, is it another one of these bus stations where we're going to have to drive up onto the roof? Oh no. Be 
able to uh, we'll be able to park downstairs. It says it's 30 kilometres near an hour in here, but uh, and this will be the real test. Is it going to stop raining under this bridge? Yes, it is. I like that. Hang on, not F2. It's F3. Wait, hang on. Where are we going? We're uh, oh, we've gone past it. Sorry, I was too excited about the rain and not focusing on which way we were meant to be going. Oh, there's another Tui bus. Told you, excursion to Berno, that's where they're going. Just make sure my back end don't clout the, uh, clout the side there. Oh, hang on, I thought we'd turned you off. Oh, I like this, this is nice. This is very nice, very nice indeed. Right, Berno is here, let's get that handbrake on. Doors open. Hello! Oh, I forgot we were in stagecoach livery. Yeah, we're off to Ostrava. You're not dressed for the weather, are you? I'm actually, they so often aren't in uh, in this game. If you want to go to Ostrava, sir? Well, uh, the good news is we're going there. Ostrava. Wow, well, I wish you wouldn't look at me with that face. Right, there we go. Zurich, my love, not me. Not me! Right. That, uh, get that luggage compartment shut and uh, let's get the uh, windscreen wipers back on have I not shut the luggage compartment? I have of course I have let's, uh, let's have another I love it absolutely love it, I mean I'm still in Flixbus uniform aren't I? Oh, hang on, it's uh, it's stopped raining. Are my predictions that the weather's going to cheer itself up? Are they coming true? They must be. Hell. Right, well, in which case, we're going to take our headlights off. We're just going to flick them onto the side lights. Allery Burno. Gallery Burno. Oh, it's uh, it's missing a G off there. Oh no, it's not the building. Uh, the G will be behind the building. I thought, oh, they've actually done it as if the G's fallen off, which is uh, you know it's more than likely. These things happen. Signs fall down. Right, next uh, next bus stop, four hours away. Hell, sixteen oh five now. We're due in at twenty oh two. That's ludicrous. Oh, there we go, round the corner. We're going to have to get our foot down because. Uh, I'm absolutely not. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh dear, we've we've oh we've made a mistake here. I didn't realise we were going right. Uh, right, what can we do? The responsible thing would be to to just just do that. There we go. I don't see a problem with doing that. Although we are now. Uh, no, no, we're fine. Uh, yeah. What's the issue? We've uh, we've made it quite known. We are cutting in front here. What are you stopped for? Right, off we go. Thank you for that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Van. Okay, so the traffic is broken here. That's fine. We are off. Oh, hang on, wrong one. I put the retarder on when actually I wanted my cruise control. If we don't make it through these lights now. Ah, of course we have. We've made that easy. Well, we've committed even if we haven't. Oh, look at that. Oh, a roundabout. You know I love a roundabout. <coughs> Particularly when it's in a coach that drives well. Do love a roundabout in games like this. Come on then, out we go. Oh, he's actually giving away to the tr giving giving away giving way to the traffic on the roundabout. That's nice. Not a lot of uh, Mercedes G wagon coming round. We might have to force our way out here. Yeah, we're going out in front of this awful coloured Skoda, or maybe we're not. Maybe we're going out in front of the van behind it. 
Although that is an absolute... I love that Skoda model. That is fantastic, isn't it? You, I mean, it's... They've not... Na oh, hang on. Why, why are we up on the... We're not up on the curb at all. We're absolutely nowhere near that curb, thank you. Oh, hang on. I'm going a bit quick. I might be up on the curb now. Yeah, that Skoda, even though it's probably not meant to be a Skoda... Well, it is meant to be a Skoda, but the, like in front of the GT is obviously a BMW, isn't it? Oh, hang on. We can go forward in this lane. For goodness sake, the signs are wrong. The signs are saying that the left-hand lane's for going forward. All right, it's a good job. Right, I think we need to be in this lane now. But, uh, yeah, that Skoda Octavia Estate is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favourite AI cars. And it looks worthy of being in a game like Forza, doesn't it? With uh, with how detailed it is. Oh, I do like Forza. I should play Forza on this. That would be a laugh, wouldn't it? Joe, racing cars, crashing cars. I mean, I've, I've got Forza Horizon 4. More or less finished that now. Of course, there's Forza Horizon 5 that's come out. I think that's set in Mexico, isn't it? Yeah, maybe one day. I'll do a bit of Forza Horizon. That'd be a good laugh. Right, there we go. Round the corner. <coughs> right, full steam ahead. Back on the motorway. Going a little bit fast, aren't we? Oh well. Oh wow, BMW GT Taxi. Right, round we go. Now this lane's going to disappear, isn't it? Or is it the fast lane that disappears? I think it's a fast lane, isn't it? Looking at uh, looking at where everybody's moving. Yeah. I don't like how that happens. And then another one. So we're back to two lanes. Yeah, I think that the uh, this road should merge in. Going across there. Oh dear! Oh, light shun. What's going on here? Somebody's just brake checked me, and uh, and it absolutely worked. And now I'm so slow, everybody's undertaking me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Daring me. Do apologise. forgot that this was going to be quite a lengthy video, so I've not got a little glass of water in it. I'm just getting a bit of a dry throat here. Not what you need, is it? Right, come on, 168 kilometres to go. I'm in the wrong lane, people are undertaking, but by the time I move across, I'll be overtaking people again. Oh, dear me. I do not understand if we're... if it's 164 kilometres away, and we're doing 100 kilometres an hour. How does it reckon it's going to take another three and a half hours? Well, that's just maths. 100 kilometres an hour. This should take an hour and a half to get there. We should be there by six o'clock at this rate. If not just after. I mean, of course, we don't know if there's roadworks on route. We don't know what the speed limit of the road is like. Uh, there could be a lot of traffic when we actually get to a Strava. But yeah, if we can manage an average of 100 kilometres an hour, we're laughing, surely? Are we not? I'd have said we were. There we go. Oh, hang on, 80. Right, there we go. This could be why it's uh, projecting that it's going to take longer. And of course, let's not forget as well, this is the, uh, the timetabled speed. At uh, the timetabled uh, journey, so we could always arrive a little bit early. Back to uh, back to national. There we go. Overtaking all this lot. Oh my lord, it's a welfare bus. Now, if you're in the Discord server, you might get that reference. But uh, yeah, who'd have thought welfare buses on uh, on Fern Bus Coach Simulator? Right, let's have a mooch across.
So I would quite like to go and see more of the Czech Republic, because it's, uh, you know, you've got all this, I know that this isn't exactly how it is, but, uh, you know, you've got all this theme in here. I'd quite like to go for, like, a, a big road trip across the Czech Republic. That'd be ace, wouldn't it? Oh, hang on, there's some mountains and forest appearing. Who'd have thought? Yeah, it, it maybe my settings since I've reinstalled Firmbus are not quite as good as they once were, but the render distance really doesn't seem quite as as lengthy as it used to be. Maybe I could turn the settings up somehow. Oh, I don't know, I'll have to look at that for next time. Oh, another uh, Man Lines coach coming the other way there. Oh, road signs slowing down of course. Typically, 80. I'll just keep it 89. It's not that I'm in a rush, but... Oh, hang on. Oh, I can see why it's 80 now. Hell. Hell's bells. We're, uh, we're absolutely straddling two lanes there. Ooh. Right, over we go. We're going to cut into this lane. Oh, that plod's here. You can see why we're speeding, because we're speeding up behind him. Oh, why are we all slamming on? We're going to cut in here. There we go, and overtake Mr. Plod. In his BMW. Oh, it's going to national now. Everybody's going to speed up again. For goodness sake, I'm in the wrong lane again. Right, we'll just cut back in before someone undertakes. 100 kilometres to go. Come on. in front of you. Oh, it's, it's just hit me. What around it? I know. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, bit more mountains. Yeah, you see what I mean about that render distance. Just a, a little bit too close for comfort. Two we bus, give him a wave. And there's no cars on our side either, is there? Like these cars are appearing quite close, but that lorry is quite far away. Oh, it's very bizarre. Very odd, isn't it? Right, let's pop across into this lane. Is that that van that we crashed into? Come on. Come past. There we go. Let's nip out. That was quite a, uh, quite a close call, that one, wasn't it? Someone's phone's ringing. Why does nobody actually answer the phone? You can never hear them chatting, can you? Just to hit phone ringing. It's like the uh, like the Just Trains Voyager with ambient phone sounds. Flipping annoying phone sounds, that's what it is. Right, hang on. We can park up here. I don't think we need to park up. We've, uh, we've not been driving that long, have we? Go. speeding but it doesn't matter does it everyone else is speeding we've got places to be haven't we that'll do coolio coolio deutschland this is where i'm looking at the uh, what it says on the side of the lorry and we end up smacking into the back of someone else again oh nice golf on the right there i like the color very a reaver isn't it that uh, that shade of blue Hang on, it's raining again. Flipping heck. And that was me thinking we were going to have a nice... Uh, a nice sunny arrival into a Strava. Never mind. Can't have everything, can you? Oh, we're making good time though here, aren't we? I like how all the coaches coming the other way are also when uh, all the drivers are in the bright green Flixbus uniform. I'm not even going to pronounce what it says on uh, on that lorry that we're just going past. Food logistics. 
kind of feel like we're driving Euro Truck with all these lorries, doesn't it? It's brilliant. I do like Euro Truck. We'll uh, we'll have to go back to Euro Truck at some point. Hang on, this is is this going to be one of those tunnels that says 60? Oh, no, it's an 80 tunnel. Ah, but it says 70 in the tunnel. But we just carry on at 80. Right, hang on, why is it still raining in the tunnel? Yep, uh, there's a there's a hell of a leak in this tunnel. Which needs looking at ASAP. I know we can't be in this lane, but I'm sorry, we're not getting stuck behind everyone else. We're on a mission. We are on a mission. Oh, hang on, rain started again. Phone's ringing. <laughs> if you could see your way to answer that at your earliest convenience. Right, here we go. We need to actually think about being... Uh, oh, it's another one of these lorries in front. Oh, it is rude. I'm sure uh, it's not actually that rude, is it? It's probably a name in, uh, in German. And I say German because uh, it does actually say Deutschland on the side of that lorry. Right, hang on. I'm going to cut back in here. Because I think we're coming off soon. For Ostrava. Or do you reckon we'll make it past? I think it's... Oh no, hang on. He does that. Right, let's go. Oh, hang on. Junction's coming up, so we're going to cut in here. In front of this taxi. Lovely. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We all slam on again, don't we, for the junction? Yep, yeah, well, that is going to happen. If blood for the blood, God skulls for the skull throne. Hell. Oh, they don't like me driving, do they? Well, it's going to happen. If you're going to just slam on the motorway, then we're going to have an accident. Oh, grass is growing into the road. See, real-life traffic does not behave like this. This is why I find it difficult on these sims. As you know, you can try and drive as realistically as possible. Granted, I probably could, shouldn't have uh, come flying down the outside lane and then cut in at the last minute, but... Uh, the, the junctions are not particularly signposted far in advance, are they? Right, here we go. Coming down into a Strava, so we need to be in the left-hand lane. Centrum, which is not uh, German, because German is Zentrum. Again, well pointed out in the last video. I made a mistake with that one. I was saying, oh, why are all the road signs in German? It says Zentrum, and uh, of course, that's not the case. Zentrum is with a Z in German. Right, hang on, we're going across. Should have looked in my mirrors. Good job there's no cars coming. You need to take a break. I know. When are we going to make a rest? Well, I'm not going to park up and rest five minutes away from the destination, am I? I could do, but that'd annoy everybody, wouldn't it? Oh, it's the Mondeo. Not seen that one in a while. Again, it's a good uh, good render of a Mondeo. What are we all stopping for? Why are we all stopped? I don't know. Oh, it's bizarre, this game sometimes, isn't it? Oh, because we have two lanes that go into one and then we have a really wide pavement for no reason at all. Why is this pavement here? Why is it not? Oh, I like how dilapidated everything looks. I wonder if Estrava's actually this dilapidated. Look at that, it really looks like... I don't know why the puddle's formed on a hill, though. That's, uh, that, there's another one there. Puddle on almost a 45 degree hill. I don't think that's uh, physically possible. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I love how... I don't know whether they've intentionally made it intentionally made it look so run down, but they've done a really good job if they did try to. It looks knackered, doesn't it? Looks like it needs some serious TLC. I like how all the taxis are this kind of beige. Now you know where they're from, don't you? The beige taxis, they're from Berlin. Of course, all the traffic is from the bus. Because they've changed all the AI traffic. Oh, 
Oh, it's an absolutely miserable day, isn't it? Absolutely miserable for, uh, for you to be sat in a stagecoach bus in the middle of a Strava. You see the number plate as well. Nice, isn't it? No, it's not got a yellow one on the back. Never mind. Right, so we are turning left. We're off into the bus station. Or maybe we're just parking up outside the railway station. I don't know. Come on, then. Let's nudge yourself across, please. You're going to let me turn across as well. That's very generous of you. And here we are. The bus station is approaching. Oh, it's not actually a bus station. It's just a bus stop by the looks of things. Oh, by the... There's an ICE train in. Wonderful. Oh, hang on. I'm in the wrong... What on earth's going on here? Where do we go? Across here. I like this. This is a bit weird, isn't it? A bit of a wacky... Uh... Oh, has someone just... He literally just smashed into the side of me. It's not very nice, is it? Well, there we go. That is uh, that is the full Czech DLC map, really. The only thing we've not done is the trip down to uh, down to Vienna, that new road. Uh, but yeah, we've covered all five cities. I do hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, do, of course, let me know in the comments if you think it was worth the £7.50 that this DLC costs. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Of course, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you show your love and appreciation by clicking the like button on the video. It's always appreciated by myself. It takes you five seconds of that always appreciate it as I nice say and uh, do of course make sure you subscribe if you want to see more Thurnbus uh, because I'm sure this isn't the last that we'll be visiting Thurnbus Coach Simulator. Yeah thanks so much for watching and hopefully I shall uh, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.